Okay, ball bouncing. Who wants to bounce some balls? So there's a few different ways to do this. And I am going, I just, I made a plane just to have something to bounce against. Now, <clears throat> as is, if I just add a rigid body, I'll, I'll give it some mass too, how about, to make sure it collides and hit play. It's oh, drop, okay, cool, whatever. It's not the most appealing thing, is it? So, how do we change that? Well, when we hit, what if we want it to scale? Now, there's a few issues with this. Because <clears throat> if we want to animate it so it squishes down as it hits, and then, you know, maybe it goes upwards, and whatever. <clears throat> there is one issue that we will see is a this collider needs to change and see how it's scaling it's scaling in the middle well we don't want that do we so if you have pro builder if you don't have it just go to your package manager and look up pro builder it might be under the preview and i'm going to take this object and I'm going to pro build the rise. Hit yes. And I'm going to select the bottom, most bottom vertice right there. And I'm going to say set pivot. That's it. That's all I'm going to do. So now my sphere. Oh, see, this collider's moved now. So I'm going to move this collider up. but his pivots down here but now if i scale him he scales down not in the middle now we still have a collider issue so we need to fix that <clears throat> so first let's add an fsm let's get all crazy with this and let's do a we need to know when we've collided with something We'll use a collision enter. When we hit a collision enter, let's set velocity. And maybe you just want it bouncing um, always at kind of the same height. And if you do, you can do it this way. If not, we can get velocity all the time. Then when we collide, reverse it and go upwards. So now we have this, this bouncing ball. And it will go like that forever now it's not gonna stop just the way it works but we're we want this thing to squish so over here in the start this is a good habit to get into i am going to you know what let's not do that let's do it this way i'm gonna i want a sphere collider variable so over here I want to get component and this way you can copy and paste this FSM and it's not going to matter. We want to get property. property right there. So we want to get from our sphere the radius. We just need to get it the wants. <clears throat> okay. So now when we hit, we want to, well, we don't want to send the velocity up right away. No, 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 not at all. When we hit, we want to scale. So we, we could float interplate this and that would work. And <clears throat> it's linear, so it might not be quite as good. Uh, but it would work so I'm going to animate a float and it's going to be well, we'll say okay so we're at one 
and where do we want we want to end up at one so at the halfway mark I'm going to click that hit enter at the time right at the no let's go point four and let's set his scale to point five and let's add another key and this one will be at point six time and he'll also be point five so now we have this kind of a has a little more of a curve so it's a little different than so with the float interplay if you do it that way you kind of go a linear line down and then we do another one for a linear line up the animate we can do the whole thing in one go and, and we, we can modify this now a bit right like if we want you know it to be a little flatter you know we can do that so this can be okay so we're going from a one to a 0.5 so this would be the y scale now in in animation whatever way you go um in one direction you want to do the opposite going in the other direction by the same amount so i just i need to in, invert this right so we're at one and this is for the side so again at the point four i want to go to say 1.5 and i'll add another key and at the point six i want to go to 1.5 whoop oh there we oh no i did screw that up 1.5 there we go so almost the same thing but reversed right and then i'm just going to flatten those out so it kind of matches be pretty close right so this is the side scale so what the y scale the side scale <coughs> now when that happens the other thing we want to do is be getting a float operator is we need to be dealing with the collider so I'm going to take the y scale and the radius we're going to multiply them and we're going to get new collider size every frame set property on the sphere every frame radius to the new collider size so that'll take care of that collider now of course we want to scale and we can scale side scale side scale y scale every frame see now this what this will do is we should have now a like that pretty neat huh so then what the other thing we we're, we're going to want to do here is so you know what I think, I think the time of that might be a little slow unless i alter these nah, you know what it's okay for now so once we come here I, I i'm gonna paste this over here i'm gonna delete the transition because once we're done uh let's do doesn't really matter which one you choose on those we're going to go over here and this guy is going to do literally the opposite so I'm just going to flip these around to the side scale and the Y scale and then he can also have a done 
So now, we'll have a Oh, he's colliding. So we need to fix that. You know what the easiest way to do that would be? Is let's control when these collision events happen. Let's, let's keep that control. So we're going to go with any tag and we have we have collided. And then we can do that. All right And then th that'll that'll prevent us from double double colliding on stuff. All right so now we have this. And when we're done here, now we're going to actually want to be adding force probably in this one, I think. Let's see. All right. And then, of course, when this is done, well, that's an empty state. When this one's done, we can come back over here. So we can loop it forever and ever and ever. And we get this hoppy ball, right? Now, it, it seems a little slow on that stretch with the animate. So you could you know, uh, these should allow you to just kind of move everything over, right? And say, go to value of one. Let's go over like this. So that's at point three. Let's test that real quick. Uh, That should speed that up. If not, we'll just swap over to the interplate. There we go. All right, and then if you wanted to even add a wobble to that, <coughs> there's nothing saying you you know you can't do this and make these squiggly lines too, right? So it's like. Blah, 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 blah. But anyways, so that's, let's, we should probably move this one too, or else it's just not gonna feel right. At one and at point three. Now let's move these guys over. There we go. Now it should be a little snappier. All right, we have a little nice bouncing ball. What do you think? And the Y might be a little much on its way back. And again, I mean, you could just go in here and adjust those. Right, like maybe um, these 0.5s, maybe we'll take those up to like 0.7, maybe about half of that scale. You know, and then of course do the same with this, right? 0.25 then. Gotta keep that same kind of ratio. That looks a little better. It's not as. 
there's kind of a cartoon ball bounce and now what if you wanted to add control just as an added bonus so let's go and get axis vector we'll say because I'm on a keyboard and we will store a vector and maybe we'll take that up to three that's it so over here when we collide we come down and when we're going up when we set the velocity let's uh, get FSM three vector we're not going to do it every frame we're just going to have it for that one frame so you're you only have control as you kind of hit the ground So our ball is actually facing this way. We should watch it like this or it's going to mess us up. All right, so if I bounce and I hold down left. Woo. Oh, I guess that's the other thing we want to do is rigid body. Let's freeze the rotations. And if you want a rotation, then you're better to do it as a child and do the Ooh. Now we have this weird bouncing globby ball thing all of a sudden that we can control on a bounce. Ba -doop. Ba -doop. And we totally fell off the platform and died. So I guess that's the end of the video. There you go, bouncing balls.